Before returning to the LM's vicinity, Conrad and Bean went to Block Crater, within Surveyor Crater. The second EVA lasted 3 hours, 49 minutes, 15 seconds, during which they traveled 4,300 feet. During the EVAs, Conrad and Bean went as far as 1,350 feet from the LM, and collected 73.75 pounds of samples. After the LM's departure, Gordon had little to say as mission control focused on the lunar landing. Once that was accomplished, Gordon sent his congratulations and, on the next orbit, was able to spot both the LM and the surveyor on the ground and convey their locations to Houston. During the first EVA, Gordon prepared for a plane change maneuver, a burn to alter the CSM's orbit to compensate for the rotation of the moon, though at times he had difficulty communicating with Houston since Conrad and Bean were using the same communication circuit. Once the two moonwalkers had returned to the LM, Gordon executed the burn, which ensured he would be in the proper position to rendezvous with the LM when it launched from the moon. While alone in orbit, Gordon performed the lunar multispectral photography experiment, using four Hasselblad cameras arranged in a ring and aimed through one of the CM's windows. With each camera having a different color filter, simultaneous photos would be taken by each, showing the appearance of lunar features at different points on the spectrum. Analysis of the images might reveal colors not visible to the naked eye or detectable with ordinary color film, and information could be obtained about the composition of sites that would not soon be visited by humans. Among the sites studied were contemplated landing points for future Apollo missions. LM Intrepid lifted off from the moon at mission time 143, 347. 78, or 14 hours 25 minutes and 47 seconds UT on November 20, 1969, after several maneuvers, CSM and LM docked three and a half hours later. 6. The LM ascent stage was jettisoned, and shortly thereafter the CSM maneuvered away. Under control from Earth, the LM's remaining propellant was depleted in a burn that caused it to impact the moon 39 nautical miles from the Apollo 12 landing point. The seismometer the astronauts had left on the lunar surface registered the resulting vibrations for more than an hour. The crew stayed another day in lunar orbit taking photographs of the surface, including of candidate sites for future Apollo landings. A second plane change maneuver was made at 159, 445. The trans-Earth injection burn, to send the CSM Yankee Clipper towards home, was conducted at 172, 27 to 16. Two short mid-course correction burns were made en route. The final television broadcast was made, the astronauts answering questions submitted by the media. There was ample time for rest on the way back to Earth, one event was the photography of a solar eclipse that occurred when the Earth came between the spacecraft and the Sun. Bean described it as the most spectacular sight of the mission. The landing was hard, and a camera was dislodged and struck Bean in the forehead. After recovery by USS Hornet, they entered the mobile quarantine facility, while lunar samples and surveyor parts were sent ahead by air to the Lunar Receiving Laboratory in Houston. Once the Hornet docked in Hawaii, the MQF was offloaded and flown to Ellington Air Force Base near Houston on November 29, from where it was taken to the LRL, where the astronauts remained until released from quarantine on December 10. The Apollo 12 mission patch shows the crew's naval background, all three astronauts at the time of the mission were U.S. Navy commanders. It features a clipper ship arriving at the moon, representing the CM Yankee Clipper. The ship trails fire, and flies the flag of the United States. The mission name Apollo 12 and the crew names are on a wide gold border, with a small blue trim. Blue and gold are traditional U.S. Navy colors. The patch has four stars on it, one each for the three astronauts who flew the mission and one for Clifton Williams, the original LMP on Conrad's crew who was killed in 1967 and would have flown the mission. The star was placed there at the suggestion of his replacement, Bean. The insignia was designed by the crew with the aid of several employees of NASA contractors. The Apollo 12 landing area on the moon is within the portion of the lunar surface shown on the insignia, based on a photograph of a globe of the moon, taken by engineers. The clipper ship was based on photographs of such a ship obtained by Bean. Conrad urged his crewmates to join him in the Skylab program, seeing in it the best chance of flying in space again. Bean did so Conrad commanded Skylab 2, the first crewed mission to the space station, while Bean commanded Skylab 3. Gordon still hoped to walk on the moon and remained with the Apollo program, serving as backup commander of Apollo 15. He was the likely commander of Apollo 18, but that mission was cancelled and he did not fly I. And space again. The Apollo 12 command module Yankee Clipper was displayed at the Paris Air Show and was then placed at NASA's Langley Research Center in Hampton, Virginia. 
ownership was transferred to the Smithsonian in July 1971. It is on display at the Virginia Air and Space Center in Hampton. Mission Control had remotely fired the service module's thrusters after jettison, hoping to have it skip off the atmosphere and enter a high apogee orbit, but the lack of tracking data confirming this caused it to conclude it most likely burned up in the atmosphere at the time of CM re-entry. The SIVB is in a solar orbit that is sometimes affected by the Earth. The ascent stage of LM Intrepid impacted the moon November 20, 1969, at 22 hours 17 minutes and 17 seconds. 7 Ut 3.94 degrees south, 21.20 degrees west. In 2009, the Lunar Reconnaissance Orbiter photographed the Apollo 12 landing site, where the descent stage, ALSEP, Surveyor 3 spacecraft, and astronaut footpaths remain. In 2011, the LRO returned to the landing site at a lower altitude to take higher-resolution photographs.